we've got the tools here that we've needed to do the job and I just want to run through them each one and tell you what they are. We've got a sanding board. You may not be able to get one exactly like this where you are but a sanding board is a really good addition and we'll use that to go around the edges of the of the cuts we make on the plastic parts of the job. Okay, that's that. Uh, a, a traditional set, set square, large set square obviously for squaring things off. Um, my beautiful old trusty old circular saw, we'll use that to cut up the lumber. Man, I've had this saw for donkey's years, it goes really well. A rubber hammer, this is a very useful addition. We'll use this to just knock the concrete blocks if we need to adjust them a little bit and make them level. Um, our grinder, a four inch grinder or a hundred mil grinder with a very, very nice thin metal cutting blade on it. We need that to cut up the IBC um, containers a little bit later on. A drill bits, a pair of pliers, a Stanley knife, you can't do anything without a Stanley knife. A, a level, a reasonably good quality level that you can make sure the beds are level with. Some cold galvanising paint, we'll show you later on how to use that. <clears throat> now these are the bits we'll need to undo the bolts, the base of the um, containers, and these are called security bits. Now the sizes you need will be T30, T35 and T40. All of these containers seem to need those three different size bits. A felt marking pen, a shifter, some additional cutting blades, should we wear the others out, we've got some additional cutting blades on hand. <laughs> this is a right angle drill which is really handy for undoing these bolts down the bottom you'll find, because if you try and use a straight one you'll get in your own way, so we use that one. Now if you can't get one of those, don't panic, don't go out and buy one especially, you'll just find it a little bit harder to do. You can use a standard, ordinary, straightforward one to do it with, but it's just a little bit easier with the other one. Now we've got another uh, four inch grinder fitted up with a flap wheel, which we'll also use just to smooth the edges of the metal off so there's no uh, sharp edges. And a jigsaw, I think in America they call these a skill saw, I'm not quite sure, but here we call it a jigsaw, and we'll use that to actually cut the plastic, it's quite good for doing that. And of course before we do any work, remember safety, we always have a pair of safety glasses on because we don't want any bits of metal and plastic getting in our eyes. Okay, well let's get on and do this job now.